learned that a calorimeter is a device which is used to find out the heat content of the given object so to find out heat content of a given object uh, we need to know about its mass the specific heat and the change in the temperature it may be either increase in the temperature or decrease decrease in the temperature for that we need to know what is the mass of the calorimeter fine then the specific heat of uh, the, a particular substance which is given and the temperature increase or decrease so for that we need to find out you know how to calculate the amount of heat fine for that let's suppose this calorimeter has mass equal to m okay it has mass equal to m and let that mass of the calorimeter be named as small m and with a subscript c okay so mc means the temperature sorry mass of the calorimeter fine then uh, it will have initial temperature okay the calorimeter will have initial temperature and let's suppose that temperature initial temperature of the calorimeter be t and i okay ti means initial temperature so let ti be the initial temperature of the calorimeter fine and now uh, the mass of the water which is there inside the calorimeter also will have some mass let the mass of that water be m w okay the mass of the water be m w and you have already learned that the calorimeter as well as the water inside the calorimeter will have the same temperature okay so the temperature of calorimeter as well as the water is same and therefore we designate it as initial temperature tr so both of them are having the same temperature fine now uh suppose if we place an object of mass mo okay suppose if we place an iron object like how it was shown in the uh, powerpoint <coughs> okay uh, there i have shown you that uh, a mass uh, some mass is put okay or some object sorry some object of certain mass is put inside that calorie meter so if whatever object we are taking let the mass of that object be m o so since if it is a hot object it will have higher temperature as compared to that uh, you know temperature of the water and calorimeter let the temperature of that object be t o okay t o fine suppose um, now if t o is higher than t i okay if t o is higher than t i that means the temperature of the calorimeter and that of the water then what will happen okay if this is a hot object that means the temperature of that hot object will be more than temperature of the calorimeter and uh, water that is we have designated as ti correct so if it is such a case then what will happen this object is going to uh, you know lose heat okay this object is going to lose heat and whereas the water along with calorimeter will absorb the heat which is given by the object and finally uh, soon the temperature of all the three of them will become the same so when they become same let that final let that temperature be called as tf okay let that temperature be called as tf so tf will be the final temperature after exchange of heat remember tf will be tf will be the final temperature after the exchange of heat okay temperature after exchange of heat okay that you have to remember exchange of heat now in the case of object suppose object's temperature uh, was previously around 70 degree okay it was uh, heated to around 70 degree after losing it will have some final temperature therefore its initial temperature of the object will be higher as compared to the final temperature after it loses the uh, heat correct so final temperature will be less therefore here we can say delta to that means the decrease in the temperature will be there here in this case here the change in temperature will be decrease in the temperature of the 
uh, object because it will be going on losing its temperature okay and find uh, uh, decreasing its temperature and therefore delta t o delta t o is nothing but the change in the temperature which is taking place here will be what here it will be t f minus t sorry t o minus t f because originally it will have more temperature and after losing it will have some a temperature that final temperature all three of them will be having but in the case of um, the object it will lose its heat so it will be less for the object whereas for the water and for the calorimeter which is gaining the heat by absorbing the heat uh, this final temperature will be more than the initial temperature so in the case of water that is tw delta tw will be equal to what it will be tf will be more because it will be gaining it heat uh, that heat and that final temperature will be more than the initial temperature even in the case of tc okay T, uh, tc that is nothing but the temperature of the uh, calorimeter so that will be delta tc what we can write okay so here what we are getting is tf minus ti so both of them together will be absorbing the heat and therefore here in this case what will happen tc uh, delta tc that is the change in the temperature here will be increase in temperature in both the cases water as well as cal uh, calorimeter it will be increase in temperature and therefore it will be tf minus ti in both the cases that means you can say that delta tw and delta tc that is the change in temperature of the water and change in the temperature of the calorimeter will be same that is tf minus ti wherein their temperature is increasing and so final temperature of both of them will be more than the initial temperature and therefore if final temperature is more we have to subtract from final temperature the initial temperature whereas in the case of the object it is losing its heat therefore its initial temperature is uh, more that is to is more as compared to the tf therefore when we are writing what we will write delta to will be equal to to minus tf so that you have to remember fine so now uh, you have learned earlier that the amount of heat which is given okay so let uh, the amount of heat you know it is given by the letter q so uh, amount of heat of you know um, uh, the <clears throat> object will be qo whereas that of the uh, amount of heat of the water will be qw and of the calorimeter it will be qc and you have learned that the amount of heat uh, which is given away by the object is gained by is equal to the amount of heat absorbed by the water as well as the amount of heat uh, you know absorbed by the calorimeter so we are getting this equation that is qo is equal to qw plus qc so let this equation be 1 okay but now you have learned that the amount of heat is nothing but equal to m into c into delta t correct no that is uh, the heat content of uh, heat content which will be given to the uh, <clears throat> object uh, it is nothing but equal to m into c into delta t it depends on mass specific heat of the substance as well as the change in the temperature that is given by delta t this triangle means the uh, symbol for um, change in temperature which is also called as delta t now let's suppose the change uh, the heat content of the uh, <clears throat> of the object will be equal to qo is equal to mo because it has mass mo into uh, co that is the specific heat of the object which is placed inside the calorimeter into delta to correct then next we'll have of the w that is of the water qw is equal to mw that is the mass of the water multiplied by the specific heat of the water multiplied by delta uh, sorry specific uh, heat of the water is cw and delta tw is the temperature of the water fine whereas the calorimeter will be amount of heat of the calorimeter will be qc uh, is equal to mc 
which is mass of the calorimeter multiplied by specific heat of the calorimeter that is Cc multiplied by delta Tc. Correct? And now we have learnt that delta To is To uh, minus Tf whereas delta Tw is equal to Tf minus Ti and delta Tc is equal to Tf minus Ti. Finally, suppose if we just, you know, um, uh, substitute these values, okay, all these three, that is maybe 2, 3 and 4, if we substitute in equation number 1, we will be getting what? QO, QO is nothing but MO multiplied by CO, that is the specific heat of the object and delta TO, delta TO, which is also equal to, okay, uh, we have this equation QW, QW is nothing but MW multiplied by CW multiplied by delta TW, correct, okay, whereas plus QC will be equal to, QC will be equal to nothing but this thing, uh, MC multiplied by CC multiplied by delta T C. Okay. So, this is how we are supposed to write. Now, you know delta T O is nothing but M0 multiplied by C0, C O multiplied by T delta T O is nothing but T O minus T F that we have to write it in the bracket that is T O minus T F. Fine. Which is equal to MW is nothing but MW only multiplied by CW multiplied by delta TW is nothing but here we have learnt TF minus TI. So here we will write it in the bracket TF minus TI because the final temperature of this will be more than the initial temperature plus what we are getting here is nothing but plus MC multiplied by CC multiplied by delta Tc will be equal to Tf minus Ti. So, this is the final equation what you are getting. Okay. So, this is how we can calculate the specific heat, uh, sorry, uh, the, <coughs> the heat content of the any given object or even we can find out the mass, we can find out the C that is the specific heat of any given substance or maybe of the water and the calorimeter, then even the change in the temperature also we can find out from this equation. So, we will solve next time the solved example to clarify this, fine. So, till then students, bye and thank you.